Hello, beautiful beings. So, you know what? I got myself a new Keurig because, you know, I've had one of the old ones that came from, I think it was 2014. It was one of the original red ones. And this one is called, if I'm accurate, it is the K-Iced X. Or essentials. Oh, well, I guess it's just called the curing, curing iced. I think this thing can do hot coffee too, but either way, let's get to unboxing. Oh, yeah, it does do hot because I see right here in the circle that it says hot and iced. I need smithers. Do I have smithers? Oh, I had smithers earlier, but what did I do with them? Oh, here they are. I don't know these little tiny things, because I don't think I really want them. I don't need to, I'm not going all the way. I was going to record this downstairs, but my mom is on the phone, so. I'm not going to interrupt her recording. Or not recording, because I'm the one recording. I'm not going to interrupt her phone call for my recording, so I came up here to do this. I've kind of been, I think I originally wanted the Keurig Slim. I don't know if this is what this one is, but. And because I'm using the smallest scissors, it is a little harder to open. All right. Let's set these, I'll set these on top of my new makeup organizer. It's not necessarily a caboodle, but it'll do for what I need it for. <laughs> ha! I got it open so I don't ruin the plastic cover. Alright, so we have a pamphlet because you need those. You gotta love a pamphlet. We have a straw. I wonder why we have a straw. I don't know why we have a straw. But I guess we're gonna find out. We have this weird boxy cover thing. Alright, I'm gonna set the box on the floor and then as I pull stuff out, I will put I will show it on camera because it makes it a little harder to open when it's on my lap. Because I'm not very tall to begin with, so. I guess we'll see what's in this box. But first, let's open the main machine. It's in this weird uh, material. And it's a little cold because, well, I was in the car for a bit. So. Ooh, this is so nice compared to my old one. And you can take this out to clean it if you need to. Ouch. I just poked myself with the thing that pokes the cup. That's real cute. Not really, but... Hey, sticker tape. You can take this off of you. Come 
on, Tate. Come up here. All right. So, yeah, this comes off. I don't know why. I don't know what that's for, but... Oh, it's probably to clean underneath in case coffee gets in here. So this comes apart, but I gotta take this other tape off. Oh, wait. I gotta put it back on here. I like how these buttons are not just round buttons, they're a little more tactile, which is nice. But I'll stand up once I'm done getting everything out of that needs to be out of here out so that I can show the buttons more. Actually not when I when I'm doing the demonstration, I'll show the buttons more actually so that you guys can see. But first I'm trying to get all the tape off of it. Because there's so much tape. But we're going to close this. All this tape. I'm just sticking all the leftover tape. Like on the I'm sticking the the tape that's keeping everything together so it wouldn't move around in the box for the reservoir. I'm taking all the tape off and sticking it on the box, but now I have to because of the tape and I gotta find a spot to scratch the tape but I don't want to scratch the plastic of this thing so this makes my finger hurt my, my fingers hurt because of how cold it is outside because literally it is 13 degrees and my phone says it feels like minus three, okay? Like what kind of, oh my gosh, this reservoir is so easy. Like, I, I like this. Look at how tiny this is. This is like so much smaller compared to my other one and I am all for this. I'm definitely all for this little machine here. And here is the lid. This is, I like this, this is very personal and I'm just tiny. Mm. Alright, so for those that are blind that are watching my videos, this Keurig is gray and originally at Walmart it was 79 I think this cost more even before that, but... Um, I got it for $69, $73 altogether, including tax. Oh no, stay, stay close, stay. We're going to set you on my floor for a minute so I can finish getting whatever else is in the box. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here, y'all. Alright. Nothing else in there. <clears throat> nothing else in there. And this is uh, 
uh, stuff from something else that we just gonna stick in this box to save on space. It was from a blanket. Oops. So I'm just gonna stick this box inside this box. this box and I don't know where to show it oh here it is right. so now I gotta figure out how to open this box because this is a very weird box oh wait maybe not Cardboard cuts you like so much, and I hate it. But I feel like it feels like that because of how cold it is outside, so your hands are just not. I'm trying to be very careful so I don't scratch myself because my hands are very dry right now because of how cold it is. And it's winter time, even no matter how much lotion I put on. This is going to need wash before use, of course. My personal curing cup. For ice coffee. Oh, I don't like this lid. Oh, wait. There we go. All right, straw. This sucker is closed tight. Where do snizzers go? Now, because I'm visually impaired, this is going to be an interesting part. I'm trying to cut the top of this gel paper because I don't know if these particular scissors will. I don't know what I would my straw. Oh wait, I have a better way to do this. Let it put it like that. And
Dum -dum -dum -dum. Now we're gonna take this lid off again. I probably should have left it all off. Just until I get downstairs, we're gonna leave this lid and straw together. Anyways, on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later when I do a video of my first drink in this sucker. I am so excited. Anyways, bye.